Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Plugin Boutique. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Beat Skills Slam Pro. And more specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the Mix Bus presets, which can be considered the mastering presets. So what I have here inside of Ableton Live is just a group with a house track on it, and this is what it sounds like. And with Slam Pro enabled, we instantly get a better sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and A-B just the default so we can hear the difference. So I'm already really excited to check out these mix bus presets because just the default is already making the track sound better. So I'm going to click the preset drop down and go to mix bus bass and top lift and let's see if it does what it says. And I would say it does. Let's try bass and top lift too. Sub boom and crisp. Super wide and clear. Thick and wide. And thick and wide too. and wide and clear. I think that's gonna be the last one. Let me see. Yeah. So I think they all sound really good. And real quickly, some of these parameters here that this bass is for the ultra ultra sub and that's why for most of the presets you're going to see it at all the way negative and that's because in general we roll that off anyway in the mixing and mastering stage because that's really not that good for most speakers some higher quality speakers can handle that those sort of frequencies but in general we want to keep that all the way down thump is for around the kick frequency range and the boom is around baseline frequency range so they're kind of the same but a little bit different in terms of where they're applied here is saturation and distortion there are three different modes you can choose from three is a lot of distortion but here's how much is applied and as you apply more that lights up and that's pretty cool. The airs module down here is for adding sparkle and shine to the higher frequencies and you can choose at which point this is engaged. So from 5K, 10K, and 15K. Then over here we have dynamics, which is just a, a pretty standard compressor, which you can turn on and off over here with this on off button. And the crush has to do with the maximization. So it's essentially a maximizer plug, which you can turn on and off right here. And I forgot to tell you about the dynamics processing. There are four different styles of compression that you can choose from down here. And down here at the bottom, there is a stereo imaging section. It's really limited, but you know, it adds a little bit when you need to add a little bit. There's a crossover point control here, which will adjust where this parameter is engaged and where this parameter is engaged. So everything below here is controlled by this. So in general, you want to go up closer to mono if it's down really low and if you're up here you can really open it up once it's in the higher frequency ranges so that's just something to think about and again you can turn it on and off and then finally there's a dry wet knob 
If you're using this as a mastering plug, I would highly suggest leaving it all the way wet. If you're using it on, say, your drum group, you might want to do parallel processing, which is around 50%. So that's just a basic overview of what all these perimeters do and where they're concentrated. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Thank you.